people from other crypto projects are jumping back in to XRP. And a lot of guys who left are coming back. Why do I say that? You look at the chart, it does show you a macro reversal. Look at the RSI, it does show you what we are going to do. So there's going to be volatility in between and there will be a lot of carnage of leveraged players. But as we understand how the market is evolving, we won't be able to deny this fact. XRP to BTC just broke through this. Last time we talked about this range where the pattern was breaking, then this as a resistance. But right now we broke that one too. So a retest and bounce to this level is the next move which we want to see. But I do agree that the macro markets does not look that good. People are talking about a 100 basis point hike from Fed. And you can't completely neglect that talk even though we have different opinions. Because we just saw Sweden went ahead with a 100 basis point hike. That is not a small stuff on the economic side. But even if we consider all this, we all know the market know this is the situation. And at the moment you see XRP inside that trading channel where you were making a base, now you're breaking higher. So you're breaking higher in dollar, you're breaking higher against BTC, you're breaking higher against Ether, and the XRP dominance is rising. When the market is dropping, right? So as you look forward, now you are eyeing at the different levels to understand like, okay, what's happening in the market? And personally, I would say like, okay, look at the volume profile. XRP volume, 24 hour volume was below a billion and right now it's 2.4 billion. So that's one 40 percentage increase in daily trading volume when all the others are experiencing that going down. Right now, you look at Ether, it's like 70, 17 percentage down for the week and XRP is 20 percentage up for the week. That's literally like 37 percentage up in comparison to Ether. So you do have assets which are trending higher. So you are in the market and observing this. So what further can we understand for the next week of volatility when the Fed is going to come out with that double-edged sword? This is the Scientific Investor family, where the normal retail guys learn how to become the next top 10 percentage. So as you discuss through this, you have to keep in mind, we are not talking about a parabolic run all the way to $100. What we are looking at is this trend line, which we broke before. So you were having this as a support range for a long period of time, and then you happen to break that to the downside. So now what we want to see in the price is that this comes all the way back up at this point. Now, how long it's gonna take to do that, no one knows, but one thing we all know is when XRP runs up, these happen in a short period of time. If you look at this run, which went up, it happened quickly. If you look at this one, these are a rapid increase in price. So if you put that narrative into place, you can say, if we are breaking higher from here, a test of $1 or close to that should come in 30 days time because we have literally observed that XRP does that. If you measure that, it is like this. 30 days, we peak there. If you go on to the next one, again, 22 days, you peak there. So when the volatility starts to increase in XRP, at least you see a breakout. By 30 days, you are reaching that peak. So when we start, it runs hard. We all agree on that particular point, right? Then you look at the XRP BDC. Now, yes, we are breaking higher here. But remember one thing, we have a long way to go to the upside. We are still here at the bottom. And what we are looking at is to go towards this range. So from here, in terms of BTC, you are looking the price to go higher with 300 percentage. Now, yes, it also varies for XRP pair. But right now, if you look at USD pair, which we are looking as our interest is aligned to that side, it's a 15x after the break of this cup and handle, which actually takes you all the way like close to $30. Great. And between that, your first target range can be around $6 to $8. So now if you are going to see something like a run here, you most likely would see something like this. 
And that's not actually bad. And the time frame, no one knows how it's going to work out. It can be parabolic like this, as we have seen this historically happening without much of a correction. And correction comes in instantly inside that 30 day period. So it can also be like this. Who knows? But the pattern actually suggests to you this is going to happen. Now imagine this is wave one. So if this is wave one and this is your breakout of the accumulation retest and start, you now did a 10x. Great. So average of crypto is five times wave one and wave two. You plot that from your bottom, you go all the way up towards 50x and that takes you somewhere close to $16. So this is kind of the minimalistic view where you are super conservative looking at this. Now, if you want to be even more conservative, like a traditional investor, you can say, okay, I'll stick with $10 for this week. And then another correction, 50, 60 percentage, then you're looking for another 10x from there. So literally $20 for wave three. But if you look at what crypto is doing in general and plot that, you come somewhere close to average here. Now, we all know one thing, when the price goes up, it goes up like nuts. It never slows down for you, me. But one thing we have observed is short-term fluctuation, which we all talk about. Long-term, I normally don't use FIB because for me, it's really hard to understand how it actually works in that way. But short-term, XRP usually breaks about that target. We have seen that. So for me, it would be conservative to say whatever the target at the top here, measured move, us, we are going above that. So the wave one, you just do this in the microwave one, microwave two, you do the same. So now we go here, look at like the entire correction day and plot this for the wave three. And you come here $1.4, but we went to $3.8. So it is sure that this one, which you observe there is going to be your conservative target for the next move, not the entire move, the next move. Mm -hmm. So the next move in that sense for XRP should come some way around here. And that kind of goes back to what we just talked in the pattern. You can go towards six to seven, eight dollars. This comes close to eight dollars. So that is going to be your first move. Now put that into perspective from the current range of price. If you're going to reach there, it's around 18 X in price. Now that is not something bad. Even if you bought in here at the top, now you literally make 100% in profit, right? But it's not it. It's not completed because that's the first structure which you are going to observe. You will get 60, 70 percentage correction and then it's going to go up again. And then there's going to be a consolidation before you run higher. Because when you eye for the macro change, which we are getting right now here in the RSI, we also have to go look at the macro view, the ultimate long-term view where you can actually see like, okay, last two months, we literally had correction. We were staying in this range, but right now we are breaking higher. So if you observe this last four months, the base was 0.32, you went lower, but that doesn't matter. You went above that. Right now, the price is floating with 0.4 level and you're trying to go higher. As you go higher, Yes, next resistance is going to come around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 range. Great, but understand this. Once you are bouncing from this level, now you only have one range to actually look at as a trend indicator, this level. So if you are able to break through this, now you are starting something new. We all agree on that point, why? Because if you look at XRP, it made this pattern previously, you broke that one, you retested and bounced. Right, so it usually does that stuff. Historically speaking, you go follow XRP and you'll see this. Sometimes the retest is not there, you just go high. So you don't want to miss that moment when XRP is moving because if it's just one month, if you're outside the market, or say one week, you're outside the market, you're not in that asset. What is the fluctuation like? Imagine this is that one week you are not there, and the actual total run up for this one is 250 percentage, and you're not there for the main week and you lose majority. So you get the point, right? Now, if you look at the general side of this, people do hesitate to jump into crypto, especially people are, when they're talking about Bitcoin. And what you need to understand is not everyone is crazy. What they are looking to see is what they want to show us around the hype. They want to see what the problem 
is and how it can be solved using cryptocurrencies. So that's why we say utility. And XRP does solve a ton of problem in payment sector. And those who have taken the time understand that already. So when you actually see these guys going against uh, Ether, I'm like, okay, now they are saying this stuff. So maybe they are going to make a lot more money doing that because it's going to be really hard to beat these guys because they have branched everywhere. They themselves moved into Switzerland. And now US is saying, no, 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 no. It doesn't actually matter whether you move there. We are going to squeeze you, right? That's the narrative which is actually coming up. And as Stefan highlights here, like, you know, maybe it's also going to get hard time. But keep this in mind, this is not just a speculation. It's more or less, it's like, okay, facts are coming out and it is hinting you towards they're trying to govern Ether. And as it moves towards a new protocol, that's sure. And that's one of the major reasons why you see this happening in the market. Weekly 17% down when you see other assets like XRP is 20% up. So if you go look at that, you have other assets which are also performing well. And we know that XRP and XLM is highly correlated. When you look at Algorand, when you look at Chili's, Stella, XRP, all of these are like you know, the fundamental coins which are in green. And they solve big time. Some problems are there and they are solving it. Now on the other side of this, yes, we do have a concern whether they're going to do a 75 basis point or a 100 basis point. But what we have to understand is some talk like, okay, they can do this. But those who are in the market, like CFRA actually talks like, okay, mm, I think they may not do this because if they are going to do that, it is going to kill the markets. And I don't know whether they won't re really want to actually do that. And right now it's only 20% of votes towards a 100 basis point hike. So the majority don't want to do that. Now we don't know what they're going to do tomorrow as they enter into the room and click that vote button. No one knows. But the market is already waiting for that decision, right? We understand that. We look at the dollar, it's kind of gaining strength. That means on the other side, you see like S&P 500, NASDAQ, Dow Jones. All of these are dropping. Mm -hmm. And you want to see some kind of positive stuff coming out from them. And even if it's a 75 basis point, you may see the price slowly going higher. But if they do 100, the market is going to price in that too. So you may see market being volatile for another couple of weeks. But going back to our actual point, the market is volatile even right now. The entire market is preparing for the Fed. When you look at this red numbers, you will understand that a lot of these were trending higher last month, last week. Right now, you see all of them dropping. Whereas you see some of these are breaking higher and gaining further momentum. So as you see this, people will. Now, XRP is one of that asset. When it goes high, it goes parabolic. So the FOMO here is going to be super crazy. Now, why do I say this? Look at this. Now, it's a weekly chart, not monthly. And you can see like how volatile it is when it goes to the upside literally it does not do anything when it is at the bottom and once that flip the switch moment happens there it goes boom it's really hard to control so you are looking at one asset which has done this over and over again during last 10 years time and if you are saying no this time it's not going to do that it's your choice but if you are with me on the same page Looking at this stuff saying like, okay, the RSI here definitely shows something is happening, right? At least that's what I strongly believe looking at the strength increasing this way against Bitcoin. Because if I'm going to look back now, leave the short term scenario, you go all the way mm -hmm, into 30 days, a quarter or a year. Great. Now, what you want to look here is not only who's up for last seven days or a quarterly period. What you really want to look at is how many of these compared to the Bitcoin is up and down. Now, what we are looking here is Bitcoin is 55% down on a year. XRP is down 55% down in a year. Ether is 55% down in a year. So right now you have already matched up with these. A lot of people were saying XRP is shitcoin, you know, it's never moving. 
Now, for the last one year, we have already matched up with them with last two days move. Remember this, just two days. They were going up, grinding up all the time. And XRP just took two days to catch up. And it's not just catching up. It's breaking through a level, which is resistance for a lot of coin right now in terms of the short time period and the economic period. And then you're breaking high against Bitcoin, even though both of them are equal in last one years in terms of the volatility. So that for me is like, okay, something is starting. I don't know how high it's going to go. I don't know how long it's going to continue that momentum. But if I'm a student of the history and I take my lessons from the history and try to plot it for the future, I would definitely say like this is not going to stop here at $2 or here at $4. There's going to go multiples of that maybe 16, maybe 30, who knows. But if you are in the market, one thing is good. You are in the market at this point. You did not move out, believing, okay, you're gonna put in a new low here and you're gonna buy in there. Because if you have done that mistake, it's done. Your units are wiped out, you lost it. Because you can come back in just after one week, you missed that. The price went from 0.3 to 0.4. In terms of volatility, it's just, you know, 0.1, who cares? But if you had 100,000 XRP, a million units of XRP, that reduces the number of units that you hold. Now, why does that matter? When you go to a dollar, now it's easy for you. When it's a $10, if you hold 100,000 units, at $1, you have $100,000. At 10, you are a millionaire, great. At 30, you have 3 million just because of 1 million units, which you bought at the bottom. Maybe you're that one lucky guy who bought here. Now, a lot of us did not get that opportunity. We were here, right? In this range, we averaged down. Great. Now, you have that maximum potential. But keep in mind, if you are that one guy who bought in here, you had all this time to average down and you don't really have an excuse. Now, if you are financially so tight, you can't afford to do that, it's fine. What you are looking at is the price you bought in at $2. Great, you were that unlucky guy at that particular time. But when the price goes to even $16, you are eight times. When the price goes $30, you're 15x. So you really don't want to wait for the ultimate highs to maximize your profit. What you want is taking profits, making sure you have profits in this wave structure so that when the price drops next 70 percentage, you utilize that increased purchasing power to move on to that. And that's one of the reasons why when we see markets going volatile, preparing for something macro, we wait patiently. And we have trades which are running. Some of them are highly volatile, going up, going down. You know, it's total mess. But we know the ultimate direction because when you see a lot of these are moving up, down like crazy on a weekly, you see some of these are green really green on a monthly period, right? So when you are looking at Adam here, so for example, if you look at Adam on a monthly move, it's like, okay, 30 percent is up, but on a weekly, it's barely green. But again, when others are in red, this one is in green. That's actually a good news. And it's volatile for one month. First quarter, it's 80 percent. So you literally have the market in front of you to make a decision. And here, XRP just started for one week. Now for one month and next is going to be one quarter and that's when you actually see that real pump coming up on a yearly so if you are here in the market make the right decision for yourself because the market is going to be volatile and if you are stressed just because of that nothing matters because once you see these kind of stuff it's like okay mm -hmm. it's not just the xrp guys coming out and saying this it is the right thing now every day it's not xrp right but now you look at this and you're like, okay, XRP is scoring really good. And the way it's reacting in the market, it's really great. So if you are still here in the market, understand there's a huge volatility happening, not just one transfer here and there. It's happening again and again with multiple transactions. So there is something happening. Maybe exchanges are going to relist it. Maybe it's going to be a central bank. It's all giant speculation from my end or your end. But when you come into the market and see the price moving higher like this, you know, there is no hype there. You are literally watching XRP going up, breaking this, a little bit of consolidation and a pump. Now that's a small pump breaking through the first level of resistance. Now what we want to see is reaching different levels and breaking through them. 
chat from the BDC Maxi is saying, okay, this is just another altcoin. It's not going to perform well. Wait and see how the market's going to react. And if you are receiving value, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are looking for more trade updates on all these coins, look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. So guys, that's it for today. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye-bye.